Hey divas, this is Anna coming to you with an ooh la la vintage treasure design project. And um, yesterday I was a crafting mad woman, so I crafted three things that I had to do. My design team project, I have a swap, and a blog. Um, uh, blog hop that's coming that I already finished the project on so I'm super excited I got it all done okay anywho so let's get to the project here this is an altered wooden box that I received from Doreen hi Doreen and uh, she is the owner of ooh la la and um, this is one of the kits this is the I don't know if it's vintage in Paris Paris vintage uh, I forgot the name of the kit. So sorry. But um, if you, when you go into the store, I'm going to have um, the link below so you can go right there. And um, you'll be able to see that this is the only kit that she has. It's black and cream. It's vintage like this. Super fun project. I love it when she sends me kits because she'll normally ask me, so what do you want? And I'll always tell her, just surprise me. Just send whatever it is because at least this way, I mean, we always get comfortable with what we know we like. But... As crafters, you know, we like to see different things, not the same type of things all the time. So, at least for me, I'm like a chameleon. I like everything and to dip in everything. Yeah, I'm a little fond of others more than some when I create them, but um, I like to be challenged. So, um, I don't do much with black. So, this was pretty cool for me. I really love it. And um, this, I used almost the whole kit in here including the whole little embellishment box that comes with it there was only very few things now in that little box that i showed previously you've seen a ton of little it bit pieces in there and um, a lot of girls will get it and be like well what am i supposed to do with these little tiny pieces well in this project i'm going to show you what i did you know to give you an idea so let me go ahead and show you what i did all around the box first now the box I did not paint what I did is I used the tattered angels um, graphite so it's black it's like a hint of black I didn't want it to be overpowering by painting it black and then I have black embellishments so I just kind of wanted it to be like a light black if that makes any sense <laughs> and then I used texture paint here with the little brick template thingy and then I just ripped up one of the pages that comes in the kit. She sends five six by six pages of Prima. And this is that ledger paper by them. So I ripped them up and um, I uh, uh, inked the edges. And then the, the six by six pages, they come um, wrapped in a 12 by 12 sheet. So this is what they came wrapped in. So I, um, I like to recycle things if I can. So I took it out cause this whole bottom is a seven by seven. So the six by six would have not worked for this, but that one page did. So I just crumpled the whole thing up and, um, I just went ahead and adhered it. I inked the edges. I distressed the edges with the Tim Holtz distressor. I used 18 millimeter flat backs on here. And this is one of the good things to use, ladies. I know a lot of ladies like to use those really beautiful, you know, the Tim Holtz legs. Those are honestly too heavy for a lot of the boxes. And um, I noticed that in shipping, it seems like the legs always take a beating. So if you're going to use them, I su suggest that you use them directly on the wood, not put the paper and then put the the leg over the paper because it tends to not hold and definitely never use hot glue to try to hold them on you want to definitely use something strong like e6000 and um but something like this will stay on because it's already got a flat surface so it'll stay on really well and it's small it's not too big and bulky so i tend to use things that are flat like this or i use the glass ones they see me use those little glass baubles that are flat just so that they last i mean they do look pretty with all the other things but just expect that they you know they're not going to last too long so um that's the sides and the bottom and here's the top now this whole little section right here is from my stash this did not come in the kit and um so the doily this little doily and this is just a little button um i cut the shank off of it this was gifted to me and i do not remember who gifted it to me but thank you so very much i absolutely love it and i used it on another project i'll show you so um and I also did the brick laying on here, and I also did the paper piece right here, too. And it's all through the box. 
So yeah, some of these most likely will be covered, but in person you'll see tidbits of it. And that's what I like. This right here is a stick pen. And these are the little goodies that are put in the little box. And I just added that on there. This little dangle, you see that little crystal? This is all one piece that was in the box. All I did was put it on the stick pen. So the job was done for me. Pearl, a little bling, and I put a couple other ones in there. Super cute. Um, I made this flower out of lace, out of one of the lace trims. And then I just added a few of the little trinkets that are inside the box. That right there is a pearl. It comes, there was a little a piece that was like this and it was a strand and there was four of them on there. I cut all of them ap apart and put them sporadically on the box. So that's there. This right here also came in the kit. And so I just adhered the two flowers and put a bling in the middle. That's a piece of vintage jewelry right there, a broken piece. And I just shoved it underneath here. This flower came in the kit, big fluffy flower. So I put that on there. But also this little piece of trim was in there. It's just a little piece that it literally is like this big. That's what I like about them too, because if you ever watch like, for instance, Bonnie, who is um, Sassy Scrappers. Hi, Bonnie. Now that diva right there, she can rock some shabby, okay? And she does, if you watch her products, a lot of um, layering. And I love that. I'm not a pro at doing all that. But when you do that, there is no science to it, really. It's just adding stuff on top of each other, even if it's little piece here, little piece there. And... Um, I don't have a ton of, you know, beautiful stuff like that. So when I do get stuff, I do like to add a little bit of, you know, layering, a little bit of texture. And um, I used all of the stuff from there, the lace. This is wrapped around the whole top part of the lid, all around. Then this is on the top of the lid. So I have the crocheted, the lace, and then I have another one under there, and I'll get to that in a minute. So I have that part there. They're all tea dyed, which I absolutely love that look. It's beautiful. And then that right there is a stick pin that I made. Now in the box, you're looking and you see this little piece. You think, what the heck am I going to do with this little piece of nothing? <laughs> well, I made a stick pin out of it. So she looks like a little angel. Isn't that super? And then um, I just added a flower and a little bling in the center. And then that bead also came in there. And the stick pin came in the kit. So the whole thing did super cute and then also this butterfly came in the kit and this little piece of sequins and then there was a little flower underneath it's all just layering stuff super cute that domino also came in the kit and all I did was um, alcohol inked it and then I stuck some Scott's quick dry in the little holes and then I put flat back pearls inside there and that makes the domino look so stinking pretty here's another piece of that that i cut off of that pearl strand and another one there and then the other one is there okay this flower let me see if i can do it this way that flower also came in the kit and then you will see that this right here is a little tiny piece of trim and it was literally this big so i just peeped it out there and then also too there let me see there's a ton of layers of this lace. I cut it in like six different pieces and I just layered it on top of each other. And then I put this on top. This trinket also comes in the kit. Um, it doesn't come with these on here. I put this on. This is automatically on the safety pin. The chain is on the safety pin. All I did was add a jump ring and then I added this in there. This is also in the little goodie box so that it could just hang there. I love it. Okay. And then, let me see if I can show you. Okay, there's the other piece of lace right there. And that black that's in the middle comes with the lace. It's just one piece. So it's super yummy. And then I used a beautiful black applique that she gave. It literally goes from one side of the box to the other. Most of it is covered, but you can see, you know, through bits and pieces when you're looking at it in person. You can see it. It's all through here, all through there. It's really beautiful. Okay, this frame right here does not come with the kit. Um, Leone, my passion for paper, she was the one that gifted me that. Hi, Leone. Thank you so much. It's so beautiful. 
Um, this right here also comes in the kit and that little bling I added in the middle was also in the kit and this was in the kit. So it is super duper pretty. And then this right here is another part, um, circle punch of that Prima paper. Um, I used an inch and a half, no, inch and three quarter punch to put underneath it. What I wanna do is put a, um, a vintage girl in that little circle. And, um, but I don't have any vintage images, so I need to work on that. <laughs> but that's, that's the goal, okay? So that's pretty much it on the top of the box. Okay, really quick sneak peek view of it. I absolutely love how it came out. This was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed it. And then I didn't do anything major to the inside. So um, I just continued spraying on the inside and then I just made a few flowers. Uh, let's get it out of here. Okay, nothing super major. I'm not um, by any means a great flower maker when it comes to fabric. I really wish I was because I love fabric flowers. I do a much better job on paper. <laughs> so these are the, that's just a few I just wanted to mess around with. And those were all made with Ooh La La tre Vintage Treasure Laces, except for the metal part here. These little doys were out of my stash and so were the centers. But the lace is all from there. And then this is just the leftover lace. This is that one that I told you that's hidden underneath and how it comes one piece, super beautiful. And I just put it in here. This is all the lace I have left from two kits. This is, uh, this is it. So um, I just went ahead and kept it in here. Beautiful display, love it, love it, love it. Okay, and there we go. Bam. So thank you ladies so much for stopping by. Go take a sneak peek at Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. Doreen does carry a lot of stuff in there that once it's gone, it's not coming back. So, cause she gets a lot of stuff from her antique stores and stuff like that. So lots of different little pieces of the, like the broken jewelry or different little tidbits. Um, they may not always be in the shop. So you want to get it while it getting good. All right, ladies, thank you so much for stopping by and leaving comments. You guys are so beautiful. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video and to take the time to um, leave a comment. I really super appreciate it. You guys are all so beautiful and I'm inspired by each one of you. So, um, and thank you to my new subbies. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the ride here at AFIA72 on YouTube and I will see you soon. Bye ladies.